Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or so we're bringing this video on my channel once again. Now in today's Crunker video, there's a brand new update. We're on update 2.3.6. And this update brought a lot of things like Crunker Premium and Slide Control, and we're going to be talking about that in today's video. We're going to be explaining Crunker Premium and seeing if it's worth it or not, and there'll also be some gameplay in the background. I just want to say real quick, my computer is kind of lagging and my mouse polling rate is kind of weird, so if it looks like I'm teleporting, that's why. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. By the way, the winner of the 20,000 KR giveaway was Easy Alex. I drew the winner on stream, so if you guys want to participate in more stuff like that, make sure you guys go check me out twitch.tv slash Zora, we're getting very close to Twitch partner. Love to see you around streams. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel and like Crunker, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. I upload Crunker all the time, so it's pretty simple. If you guys like Crunker, please subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss more Crunker content. I think only 30% of you guys are subscribed who do watch these videos, so if you're one of those people who aren't subscribed, please subscribe and help me get to 60,000 subscribers. All right, so let's go over the update super duper quick. Update 2.3.6 FPS optimizations coming soon. TM. The spin error three issue is being fixed. It's kind of where you just can't spin for some reason. You can now claim free KR every two hours, added Crunker premium, displays names, bonus rewards, and more work in progress. Added number display formatting to KR values. I think that just means they added like commas and stuff into the thousands. Fixed spin issues, added slide control into settings, which is huge. Fixed in-game mod issues, added two new shortcuts to the editor, and added copy map button to editor. So a lot of this doesn't mean much to the normal Crunker player, but there's two huge things that are big very big to the normal crunker player and we're gonna be going over those two things right now so like i said there should be some gameplay in the background i just recorded that before recording this so in that gameplay it was with crunker premium and slide control just to dumb down slide control it's in the settings you can type in slide it should pop up under gameplay to however much you want i have it all the way to three and pretty much to dumb down slide control it multiplies your fps by whatever number you're using so i'm like around let's just say 250 right now and i have three so in theory even though it doesn't say it my character's physics are like I have 750 FPS. So for your Chromebook players and people with low-end PCs, this is something huge for you guys. You can finally slide hop at a normal speed and stuff like that. Even if you're running at 60 frames, you will still get 180 frames, which is pretty huge. Or if you had 100, you got 300. If you're at 300, you have 900, etc. I think surely it caps out because Crunker can't go more than over a thousand frames. So probably at a certain point it caps out for you. But in my personal opinion, I'm, I'm not too aware on what the, the stance is on this, but I think it'd be smart for everyone just to max it out. So that is super duper huge for all you guys with Chromebooks low end PCs that will finally give you guys a chance to play like normal and I think it's going to really change this game in the future it's one thing I'm kind of worried about is I think it's going to kind of decasualize Crunker in a way not that everybody doesn't deserve to have amazing slides but UCD made a good point on Twitter I believe he kind of said it's like when Fortnite added turbo building and you guys can see where Fortnite is now not really comparing this game to Fortnite at all I'm just saying on how big of a step that was and how much harder it made it to play that game in a way. It made it easier to play, but it made the game extremely more competitive. So expect a lot of people to get a lot better very soon. And then we're going to be talking about Crunker Premium. Crunker Premium is something that you can buy with KR that gives you in-game benefits. And that's one thing I do want to mention. I am very grateful that they added an option to buy this with KR. So if you guys are going to be buying KR, make sure you guys use creator code Sorable. It's the best way to support the channel, and you guys have been absolutely killing it with the support. And since this is my full-time job, please use creator code Sorable if you're buying KR in the item shop and want to support me. Moving on, you can buy Crunker Premium with KR instead of money, so I think that's one thing that's really awesome about this. They could have easily have made this money-gated, but they instead made it able to be bought with KR. And I have already brought Crunker Premium, as you can see, I have 29 days left, 19 hours and 42 minutes. You can buy 30 days for 7,500, 60 days for 14,000, and 90 days for 19,000. So you just do the math right there, it gets extremely cheaper if you buy the 90 days. But let's look into Crunker Premium to see if it's something that you guys would be interested in. Now, in theory, you guys will not be missing out on anything if you do not buy Crunker Premium. But at the same time, I think there could be a lot of beneficial things for the casual player inside of Crunker Premium. Let's get into it. Things you get with Premium. Golden Badge on Profile. So as you guys can see, it doesn't really look golden but trust me it's golden it's just because of my custom cs i do have two check marks now i'm double verified so get wrecked hockey man my boy displays is about to have a heyday my man's finally getting verified as you can see my name is ninjas hyper <laughs> I've had so many people come into my chat and just in Crunker chat like, are you the real ninja? Which I think is hilarious. But yes, the next thing is you can customize your display name. So one thing I want to clear up, this isn't going to change your actual name. This account's name is still Sorable. If you go on the leaderboards, you can still find me under Sorable and not Ninja's Hyper. But my display name inside of the game and on my start menu is Ninja's Hyper. So everyone else will see you as said display name, but in the leaderboards, it will still be your original Crunker name. And I can only imagine once premium runs out, your name will go back to normal as well. So keep that in mind. The next thing is monthly giveaway entry chance to win 50,000 KR. I'm not sure if you're just immediately entered in with premium. I guess so. 
but I guess if you're randomly just alive, you'll get 50,000 KR. Next thing's pretty cool, you can customize your skin color. So you no longer have to be zombie colored if you do choose to do this. You can make it literally any color in the rainbow. And I choose it black because it kind of reminds me of the black hands glitch on Skate 3, which I personally love. So I think this is really cool and I think it's super clean. Plus any other color just kind of looks silly. Like blue is my favorite color, but I'm not trying to be a smurf. You get custom commands. I'm assuming for custom games, you get slash God, slash no clip, slash kill, and slash smite. I'm assuming the first one's God mode, second one's no clip, where you can fly around the map kind of like in a spectate mode. Slash kill will be kill somebody, and slash smite. I'm not personally sure what that means, but next thing is also super huge for content creators that aren't verified yet, and even just people who want to play with more friends than 10. You can now host 16 player lobbies if you do have Crunker Premium, which is cool because when you're normally verified, you can host 16 player lobbies, but now if you have Crunker Premium, you also have access to that, so it's not locked behind the verified gate. Then the next few things aren't that important, but I'll go over them real quick. Increase object limit in customs for map makers. That's cool, but for the casual player, probably not. Next one's going to affect the market quite a bit. The next two things, I guess. Increase max KR per round to 40. So before, if you hit 3,000 points, you would max out at 30 KR per game. Now you can max out at 4,000 to 40 KR per game. And supposedly, I've not tested this for myself, but apparently you can get 60 KR with challenge mode if you max out that score. So if you guys are grinding for KR, that's almost 100 KR a game if you max out that score. So the people being like, oh, I've never never gotten a heroic spin before. Play the game for with challenge mode. Maybe 10 games, you'll be good. And you can also increase your market sales limit to 40. I don't know what the original is. I'm assuming probably 30. So if you wanted to sell mass things, do this. And then finally, bigger thumbnails for maps. Now, I don't really know what that means. My only guess for this is higher resolution size picture for these maps but yeah that was crunker premium i did buy it like i said as you guys can see my name is ninjas hyper and i have two check marks displays could never but honestly i think this is really cool and shout out to waspy if you guys don't know who waspy is you're living under a bus but he actually donated the money for, so i could get the crunker premium so thank you waspy but to the casual player is this worth it well it really just depends i'm not gonna lie to you it really just gives you a ton of customization and a chance to win 50,000 kr you can change your name which is a huge commodity that everyone one wants change your skin color which is just more customization which i think is super awesome you can host those 16 player lobbies which is going to be super beneficial for the streamers who are not verified yet the youtubers are not verified yet but i can't see a super casual player trying to get 16 people into one game if he doesn't i don't know i know i never had 15 friends so I just, but for streamers and content creators this will be super awesome for you uh for map makers it's cool because you can do bigger thumbnails for maps and object limits and customs and for the people who grind the market you guys get more kr per game and you can list more items so i mean this is pretty Pretty beneficial depending on the type of player you are i think this could literally benefit anybody due to the customization and how much stuff it does open for you but is it worth it i'm gonna leave that up to you guys let me know in the comments down below do you think crunker premium is worth it i know as a streamer and a content creator for me it doesn't really affect me if i buy it or not especially since i'm already verified but it's nice to have that customization and stuff like that and just more things to do and my name is ninjas hyper so couldn't get much better but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you think crunker premium is worth it and if you guys are going to buy it or not i'd say for the general population of Crunker, I think this would be beneficial in a certain way. For people who maybe play a few times a week, maybe skip on this and save your KR. But for the diehard players who play this game every day, I'd say it'd be very beneficial for you, especially if you have the KR lying around. And also for like content creators, streamers, and YouTubers, this is also super awesome, especially if you're not verified, because you can now host those 16 player custom lobbies. One thing that'd be cool if it's somehow the stack for verified people and we can host 32 player lobbies. I always kind of thought that's what they should have done anyways, is make the normal custom game 16 players and like the verified custom games 32 players but yeah there's a ton of stuff in this and it's really honestly really cool especially since it's not money gated you can buy it with care which you can earn from playing the game especially especially if you already get crunker premium and you get that 60 k arc per game with challenge mode you can save up for your next premium and your next it's a pretty cool idea and i think it's awesome i however did see some people saying like oh it should be ad free oh you should get this you should get that oh this should came out before fps optimizations now, you might be right on a few of those things, but I just want to make this very clear. The way the devs make money off of this game is through ads and through purchases of Crunky. Those are the only two ways, to my knowledge, that they make money off of this game. And however, they do make a lot of money off Crunkies. They probably still make a lot of money off ads. I'd say it's probably like a good like 50 to 50 split. 
or like a 45 to 55 split, something like that. So if they took away the ads for Crunker Premium and you bought Crunker Premium with KR, they'd be losing profit. And the only way other I could see that working is if they made Crunker Premium money gated, which is what I don't think we want right now. The ads are sometimes annoying, but this is a pretty small dev team and this is how they pay for everything. So I think we should cut them some slack on this. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below as well if you guys like this update, especially slide control. I know that's going to make a lot of people happy. It's something that's been asked for for literally ever. And now we finally have it. And I'm excited to see what this game turns into in a few weeks. I'm kind of scared, not going to lie. But yeah, if you guys see ninjas hyper around your games, just know it's me for now at least. I think you could still click on my profile and see that it's horrible. Yeah, like look at this. It still says horrible and I do have this gold badge right here. And also on the flip side, if you see someone called horrible, just make sure it's me before you do anything. Make sure you click on the profile and stuff before you do anything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I was really excited to make this video today. I just think Crunker Premium is a really cool idea that I think they could build on. As you guys saw in the update, it did say work in progress, so I'm sure we'll see more with it in the future. And then slide control is literally so huge for literally anyone who plays this game, especially for the low end PC players. Because even like with me, I don't get the best FPS. I get like two to 300 FPS, especially recording. So that being tripled really just makes this game feel so much crispier. I'm just excited for the future for this game, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. As I said in the beginning, I upload Crunker literally all the time, and I stream it all the time on twitch.tv slash Sorable if you want to go follow me there. But yeah, it's simple. If you guys are new and like Crunker, please subscribe. It would help a lot. But yeah, I think I went over everything in this video, I think. And if you guys are still watching right now, comment down below saying I love Ninja. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. And as always, it's been your boy, CJ or Sorable. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.